Dude, I was sitting here in my computer chair just refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. We had like 50 minutes of no trade action. I'd been waiting for that Brett Kulak, Edmonton, Montreal trade and the details to finally be finalized. Finally be finalized. My goodness, I can't believe I just said that. But we still haven't had that yet. And while I was refreshing, you know, I read a chapter, the new chapter of Rent a Girlfriend in between my waiting period because 50 minutes is a long time. I refresh finally. We have ourselves a trade. Take a look at this. This is from three minutes ago as the time of recording this audio, 10.45 a.m. PST. The Sens and the Bruins have made themselves a trade, where the Ottawa Senators acquiring their hometown boy Zach Sinitian and a fifth-round pick in exchange for Josh Brown and a conditional seventh-round pick. Now, it says one of two, but there isn't actually a two so far. It's probably just the condition for the seventh-round pick that is also being laid out there. It's not being revealed so far. But you know what? It's a seventh round pick. Who really cares? Let's talk ourselves about Zach Sinition. Let's talk about Josh Brown. Let's talk about the Senators and their plan. Because immediately after this trade was revealed by the Ottawa Senators Communications Twitter account, it was actually a whole bunch of Senators fans that I saw rejoicing that Josh Brown had been gone. Now, I didn't realize that Josh Brown had been that bad this season, but I guess the Bruins, what you're getting here is another big right side defender to help out with your team just in a depth role. I really don't think you would be benefiting a lot by playing Josh Brown a significant amount of time, but you could go out there and try if you're the Boston Bruins. He's got six points in 46 games played this season, and with the acquisition of Travis Hamanick yesterday, it does make a lot of sense to go out there and ship out another right side D in Josh Brown, because... You really see the belief that the Senators and their management have in Travis Hamanick for some reason. My goodness, I guess one assistant coach's opinion saying, oh, I coached this guy a decade ago is good enough to make them think that he's good enough to be that much of a guy. But either way, because they do like Hamannick a lot, it does make sense that they don't have the necessary use for a guy like Josh Brown anymore. In return, because they are trading away Brown and a 7th for Sinitian and a 5th, they're getting Sinitian, a guy who is pretty notorious for being one of the busts that the Bruins drafted in the first round in 2015. This was part of the string of three straight guys that Boston had drafted in the middle of that first round. Zaborl, DeBrusque, and then Sinitian over here. DeBrusque is pretty okay, but apparently he still does want to trade Zaborl. Kind of a bust here, too. Sinitian, I mean, he's done nothing at the NHL level so far, either. Look at all the guys taken after. Barzal, Connor, Shabbat, Svechnikov, Colin White, Samsonov, Brock Besser, Konechny. So many good names over here, but... Sinitian was one of these guys taken a little bit earlier. He is 24 years old, 6'1", 207, a right-handed right side forward, making $750,000 this season till the end of 2022. Now, this year he's been playing mostly in the Providence system, and the development for Sinitian has been so all over the place that he actually did request a trade earlier this season as well. We made the entire video talking about how Sinitian and Brusk both requested trades, and Zaboral is just kind of doing whatever. He's not an NHL caliber guy either. So the Boston Bruins really did lose out on that 2015 first round. And now for Sinitian, I mean, change of scenery coming over here? Most likely so, right? The Boston Bruins have had a pretty deep forward core when it comes to the past few years over here, definitely more deeper than the Ottawa Senators and what they have on their forward core. So it would make sense to me if they decided to just bring Sinition up, see what he is at the NHL level, just note what he's capable of doing because he hasn't played NHL hockey since 2020-2021 where he only had eight games played. So his resume, very limited in the NHL. We're going to see what he's able to do this season and probably next season as well once the Ottawa Senators decide to resign him. Because he's a hometown kid, I would think there's a little bit more of an ease that Sinitian would be able to adjust himself towards when it comes to transitioning into an NHL athlete. So for a trade like this, it makes sense because of the defenseman and the acquisition of Travis Hamanick. It makes sense it makes sense for the Senators because they're getting a hometown guy that could help them out on forward, hopefully. He's probably going to be alongside of Matthew Joseph. We'll see how that new pairing works out. And then for Boston, you're getting yourself some big right side depth and getting rid of a guy that actually did ask for a trade earlier on in the year. So all in all, it's a pretty solid win for both teams based off of what they want. Obviously, this isn't the biggest trade in the world, but 
you know, you take these small victories when you can, right? And that's what the Bruins and the Senators are doing, it appears so. So let me know in the comments all your thoughts about this trade. Sinition in a fifth for Brown and a conditional seventh. I don't really care about the conditions on the seventh because it's a seventh. But let me know in the comments either way what are your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this British Trolls 99. And bye.